بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہوپ آل آف یو آر ویل سیف اینڈ اسٹارٹنگ ایٹ ہوم اسٹارٹنگ ٹو ڈیز لیسن ود دا ری کیپ آف دا پریویس ون ان دا پریویس ویک وی ہیو کمپلیٹڈ چیپٹر نمبر ٹو دیٹ از فنڈامنٹلس آف آپریٹنگ سسٹم وی ڈسکس دا کمپیرزن بٹوین سنگل یوزر اینڈ ملٹا یوزر آپریٹنگ سسٹم آئیڈینٹیفائڈ دا ٹائپس آف آپریٹنگ سسٹم بیچ پروسیسنگ ٹائم شیئرنگ اینڈ ریئل ٹائم آپریٹنگ سسٹم ڈسکرائب دیئر فنکشن and specified the fields in which they are used. Described all basic icons of operating system that are recycle bin, computer icon, file icon, folder icon, program icon, and shortcut icon, and learn the importance of managing files. Today, we will start a new unit that is chapter number four, data communication. In this unit, you will learn about how data communication is established, the functions of commonly used communication devices, and the transmission media that allows data communication to take place. Objectives to be achieved from this lesson are define data communication and basic terms of data communication that are data, data transmission, analog signals and digital signals. Number two, describe the components of communication system that are sender, receiver, message, protocol and transmission medium. Number three, describe characteristics of a good communication system that are delivery accuracy and timeliness. Number four, differentiate between synchronous and asynchronous transmission modes. Elaborating the first objective of this lesson. Data communication. Transmission of data between two points or two devices with the help of transmission medium such as wire cable is known as data communication. Data communication will be possible with the help of data communication system. A data communication system is a collection of hardware and software arranged to communicate information from one location to another. There are four basic terms of data communication. Number one, data. Number two, data transmission. Number three, analog signal. Number four, digital signal. Data. Raw facts and figures given as input to computer is known as data. Data can include text, sound, graphics, images, and videos. Data transmission. It means sending information from one place to another using communication networks and data communication systems. In computer technology, it means transmitting streams of bits or bytes from one place to another using copper wire, fiber optics, satellite communications, etc. Signal. A signal is a variation of physical quantity with time. The physical quantity can be temperature, pressure, rate of heartbeat. An electrical signal. It is a change in voltage or current with time. Electrical signal is divided into two types, analog signal and digital signal. An analog signal are continuous and passes through or includes an infinite number of continuous values along its path. The curve representing the analog signal passes through an infinite number of op- points. The diagram below shows that how analog signal travels in the form of curves. Digital signal. A digital signal can have only a limited number of defined values. Although each value can be any number, it is as simple as 1 and 0. The digital signal travels in the form of squares. Elaborating the second objective of this lesson. There are five components of a communication system. Number one, sender. Number two, transmission medium. Number three, message. Number four, protocol. Number five, receiver. Message. It is the data to be transmitted. It includes text, pictures, audio and videos. Sender. It is the device which sends the data messages. It can be a computer, workstation, telephone handset. Receiver. It is the device which receives the data messages. It can be a computer, workstation, telephone handset. Transmission medium. It is the physical path by which a message travels from sender to receiver. For example, twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, fiber optics or the radio waves. Protocol. It is a set of rules that governs the communication. It represents an agreement between the communicating devices. In this diagram, a sender is sending a message with the help of a transmission medium to the receiver. Here, sender is a laptop. 
transmission medium used is a wire while the receiver is a cell phone. Discussing the third objective of this lesson. Characteristics of a good communication system. There are three main characteristics of a good communication system. Number one, delivery. Number two, accuracy. Number three, timeliness. Delivery. Data communication system must deliver the message to the correct destination. Message must be received by only the device or user to whom it is sent. For example, when email is sent to a person, it is received only by the person to whom it is addressed. This is managed by the protocol used in the data communication system. Accuracy. System must deliver the message accurately without any change. If incorrect data is transmitted by the system, it may not be usable by the receiver. For example, when data is transmitted over a long distance, it may get corrupted due to transmission errors. The data that is not correctly received at the destination is retransmitted from the source. This is ensured by the protocol used in the data communication system. Timeliness. The system must deliver the data without significant delay. It is very important in real-time transmission such as video conferencing. For example, a computerized real-time system is used to monitor the temperature in an oil refinery. If the temperature is getting too high, it must be transmitted immediately, otherwise there can be an explosion.